And your name is? Phil Bohr. Your occupation? Auditor. And your chosen subject? Ipswich Town Football Club. Ipswich Town in two minutes, here we go. In 1954, Ipswich Town gained promotion for the first time as a football league club by winning the Division 3 South title. What was the name of their manager? Uh, Scott Duncan. Yep. What position did newly promoted Ipswich finish in at the end of 2000 to 2001 season, despite having been many pundits tipped for relegation? George Burnley won the League Managers Association Manager of the Season Award for his efforts. Fifth. Yep. How many goals did John Walk score in the club's 1980 to 81 UEFA Cup campaign? The club won the cup after playing a final against the Netherlands, Team AZ67. 14. Yes. How many league points did Alf Ramsey's Ipswich team accumulate? in the 1961-62 season when they won the first division title one year after they were champions of the second division. Pass. Which Liverpool-born defender was one of three players who appeared in every match of Ipswich's league title winning campaign in 61-62? Pass. In 1981, which Ipswich player was voted Footballer of the Year by the Football Writers Association? Franz Tyson. Yes, in October 28, Ipswich won 4-0 in an away match against Ealing. Because the pitch at Ealing's home ground was waterlogged consistently, where was the match played? Wembley. Yes. What's the nationality of Boncho Genchev, who joined Ipswich from their former manager Bobby Robson's club, Sporting Lisbon, during the 92-93 season? Bulgarian. Yeah. The 1981 film Escape to Victory featured a number of Ipswich players, including Russell Osman and John Walk as allied prisoners of war, who play in a football match against the Germans. Who played the German goalkeeper Schmidt? Uh, Sylvester Stallone. Laurie Seibel. Which team did Ipswich beat 6-0 in a league match in March 1980, in spite of failing to convert from the penalty spot three times? Manchester United. Yep. In 1961, which centre forward became the first Ipswich player to win a full international cap for England? Ray Crawford. Yes. Who came on as a substitute for Roger Osborne when Ipswich beat Arsenal 1-0 in the 1978 FA Cup final? Go on, take a guess. Out of uh, time. Trevor Weimark. No, it was Mick Lambert. And you had two passes. That Liverpool-born defender, one of three players who appeared in every match, 61-62, was Larry Carberry. And the number of league points that Alf Ramsey's Ipswich team accumulated in the 61-62 season was 56. You have scored, Phil, eight points.